What he do? What he do? La la gang. What he do? Yeah. What he do? What he do? La la gang. Um, I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. I am doing good. I'm doing great. I'm blessed and staying productive. Uh, basically, want to come with y'all, come to y'all. And just chat it up. Um, I was like behind the reactions, okay? Because it's, it's still a reaction, but I'm... Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to give y'all that. But it's still a reaction, but um, just in a breakdown form, okay? Um, just uh, a lot of things that I be wanting to point out and talk about. And basically, we are talking about Nika. I've been on Nika. I won't let up off Nika. I won't bag back. I won't stop. I won't run away. I won't give up. I won't leave it alone. I won't close my eyes. I won't turn my head to it. I won't leave it alone, okay? I'm just going to say that. Um, at the end of the day, y'all, what she is giving, what I am pointing out, what I am seeing, okay? And and, and I noticed that a lot of y'all are, are, are seeing the same thing, that we have a mother here, and she says that a lot of things that goes on with her kids and, and the way that they act and the things that they do is because they are spoiled, okay? And then that's where... Dang, I'm out of breath, y'all. That's where I wonder at the end of the day, do she really know the definition and the meaning of spoiled? Because she used the word so loosely and used the word so much, but from us viewing, okay, behind the, the, the screen, I would say, we definitely don't see spoiled, okay? Um, I've been watching a lot of videos, y'all seen I put out shorts, uh, shorts just trying to, to basically put out here uh, don't let this chick fool you. And then I would say not let her fool you because so many of y'all that was following her on TikTok and that has also moved over here and following her over here on the YouTube streets, y'all eyes is open very wide, okay? And so a lot of, uh, the ones that's just now tuning in or trying to tune in because I have read so many comments where people say, you know, it's so hard to watch. Exactly. Um, it's really hard to watch. It's really hard to watch the situation. It's really hard to watch the kids. And then when you have this so-called mother or parent within the situation and, and it's that she don't see absolutely nothing, okay? She don't see nothing wrong. She don't see what she is given. She don't see how she is treating her kids. She don't see how she is doing more for herself and less for her kids. Well, not even less, but basically nothing for her kids, y'all. She don't see it, okay? And then that's where I wonder when I say somewhere in there, she is mentally disturbed. I believe it has to be something wrong because how is it that you see no wrong that you are doing? But so many people that sit within the background and what we view and what we see, we see that, okay, this shit is not normal. This is some sick shit. What is she giving? How can she come come on the camera and prepare herself like this, but have her kids look like this? How can she go out in public and, and allow her kids to dress and look this way? And then that's where I would say, y'all know I was saying before, like homely, uh, d well, that's what I would use, uh, or saying, looking that, okay, my mother can look put together or okay together, but we look like we just, you know, we're lost in, 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 it's just, it's it's a hard, sickening situation. And then she comes on and she get upset that people are not respecting her and, and her content and, and what she is given. I truly don't understand. And every day that I sit back and I, I view the videos and I watch and then it's like, do you not see what's in front of you? Why are you blind to all these situations? And then that's where I would say when I say mentally disturbed or or so caught up in, in, in how she grew up and what she dealt with, she don't see the things in front of her, okay? And then that's where I will also say it's almost basically like the kids are invisible, okay? And I talked about that before where she done had all these kids and say, I had 10 kids and I love my babies, but you probably loved them at the time where you did have the father 
in the picture, okay? But now that he has left and moved on and you say that you can care less because you're single by choice, but you being single by choice and the things that you are given and how you treat your kids and how you talk to your kids, it shows that, sorry, y'all, it's almost like now that he's gone, fuck the kids, okay? They're here, but... Oh, well, I have to cook for them, but oh, well, whatever I cook, allow it to be something quick and fast. I never put forward an effort to say, let me cook my kids a good meal today, okay? And then that's where I, it's some things that I don't understand, y'all. And when I say I don't understand is this lady here gets food stamps, y'all. And y'all know if you receive food stamps, you eat fucking good do you understand and i'm just saying you should have be having fucking taco tuesday every fucking week or some good meals why is the kids and these are just my thoughts and opinions that i'm throwing out here y'all why is it that the kids have to eat rice every fucking day almost every day why does these kids have to eat rice why is it that they cannot eat mashed potatoes why is it that they only can eat rice and beans or rice and and, and corn or or, or rice and uh, llama beans. I just everything is a fucking struggle. It's just like I I get a kick out of out of giving my kids less than. I get a kick out of cooking my kids struggling meals. I get. It's almost like she get a kick out of that shit when she know that she can cook them better. You understand? She she can she can buy them better and cook them better. Introduce. Green beans, okay? Why do we got to eat corn and beans all the time? Why we can't have green beans? Why we can't have broccoli? Why we can't have a salad and fish? It's just the things that she give is just I'm not understanding. And then that's where I would say, okay, where is it? where the fuck she's from, of how they do things. And then you have a lot of people say she's country. Well, I didn't seen a lot of country folks before and been around, but they do not do this. So then that's where I say even the things that I have heard of just the things that's happening, that has happened to her kids. It's just like when it comes to her kids, she do not give a fuck, okay? The things that happen to her kids, she has so many excuses to say about everything. And then also saying how the things that also was happening within her home that she actually knew about. To say, oh, kids is just going to be kids. Well, they was too young. They just a kid. I'm not going to say nothing. Oh, everything is the all fucking well. Okay, these kids and they're touching on each other. Oh, fucking well, it's not me. These kids don't have the proper hygiene things that they need. Oh, well, it's not fucking me. They don't have the clothes and the shoes and things that they need to, to dress up and, and look appropriate when they go out in public. Oh, well, <laughs> it ain't me. Or And then that's where I would say, look at their closet, look at their room, look at yours. Compare this shit. And then you say, is this what a mother give when she says she give her kids the fucking world? Every time she speaks, she says she give her kids the world. She spend money and she give her kids the world. But to turn around and notice you're not giving them shit. I'm just not understanding y'all. I'm not understanding no situation. I'm not even understanding situations when things are not okay within the household, when things are not in order, when things wind up broke. Everything is the kid's fault. Nothing she sits and take accountability for. And then that's where I would say I would sit in the background and then I would wonder all the things that happen to the kids, do you sit there and blame them as well that, hey, this is y'all fault of why it happened and not saying, I am the parent, I am the adult. And if I was watching over or seeing after them like I should, certain things wouldn't have happened. Um, things within my house wouldn't be broken. If there was structure and also you teaching, maybe they'll do things right. But when mama ain't trying to teach me, how do I do it? And then when I don't do it right, she called me names, dumb and stupid and all these things. All oh, these kids can't do shit right. Well, how do you expect for them to do shit right when you don't show them? And then that's where I want to know why is we riding around with, 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 
trash in the in the truck trash on one side and dirty clothes on the other side how hard is it for the, you to just have the people to come pick up the trash and then that's where i would say are you that uptight and hard on money that you can't even allow them to come pick up your trash but you rather pile your trash up in your truck and then that's where i had somebody point out to me to say hey lala she keeps trash in her truck and then she turns around and buy groceries and put it in her truck she don't give a fuck Okay? About nothing. Okay? And then that's where I don't even understand where you can come on here and you want to display. I want to display my closet. I want to display my room clean. I want to display all these things because it's look at me. Then that's where you have to understand at the end of the day with you having all these kids, it's not about you no more. It's a package deal. Shit, if your kids outside in public and they walking around and they looking bad that it, it, it looks like you didn't go in there and give them no direction on the things that, that they was putting on their shoes their clothes hey go find something else that's too big hey go find some more shoes your shoes is too big hey make sure you put your shoes on the right feet hey can you turn your shirt inside out then that's where i say you don't give a fuck about how they look you don't give a fuck about their hygiene okay but then that's where I want to know as a mother, how do you give up on your kids? How do you give up on your kids, but then want to show social media that my kids is spoiled and they do certain things because they're spoiled? <sighs> then that's where I would say somewhere in there, you don't know what fucking real reality is. Because then that's where I would say in every situation that's dealing with they keep your kids, they get less than. You took the AC out of the, the living room where they be at and playing and stuff and you put it in your room. Fucking selfish when you already got a fan in there not thinking about my kids, okay? But then that's where I would say, how can I even expect for her to think about her kids when she think about her kids in no fucking situation. And then I'm sitting here watching her on a video where she said her daughter bought her breakfast. Her young son came in the room and you could tell by his face expression, he wondering, where did you get that from? I want some. And then that's where I say at the end of the day, you don't kick Naya out the picture because she's included. You understand? How can y'all go to McDonald's and buy the kids just fucking drinks, but she buys you food and didn't buy them food? At the end of the day, you would think, you know, where one is wrong, one would step in to, to, to try to guide the one that is wrong. But then you say, well, if, if, if mama is fucked up and mama ain't trying to work on herself, daughter comes along and she's fucked up too. Okay. Cause at the end of the day, I'm really looking at y'all like two of a kind. You understand? Not only do mama treat these kids bad, but older sister, big sister treat us bad too. I don't have to buy them nothing to eat or things like that. We can eat out, but I can fix them some type of fucking slop. And I would call it slop, y'all. Every food she fixed them looks like fucking slop. Then we go from beans, I mean pork and beans and weenies. And now all of a sudden we own pork chop. What's up? Fucking pork. Pork here and pork there. But look how the kids, they never get to enjoy good food. Okay. Then it's like, what is the point of you receiving food stamps when you're going to cook for them like this? And then the only time you try to cook good is, is, is trying to, to, to show social media wrong. But you can't cook one good meal and then say, voila, this is, this is why I don't do this is because they don't eat the food or they waste. We look at the meals that you cook each and every day or well, the meals that you want to display on here like your kitchen is full of yummy food and it's not. Yeah, I just don't understand this situation and I don't understand her. And that's why I keep continue to say at the end of the day, I don't care what she give, what she show, what she say, how she, much she love her kids, how much they are spoiled. She don't give a fuck about them kids. Okay, they room show it, they closet show it, the way that they dress show it, the way she talk to them, it shows. 
okay? But then you come back on social media like, you know, y'all trying to make, we can't make you out to be absolutely fucking nothing. Are you not sitting down viewing your videos or that you that fucked up within that you see nothing? I hear nothing and I see nothing, okay? I see nothing that I give. Everything I give is out of love. It's not out of love. We see that shit. I just don't get it, and I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. But it's a sad situation when you see these kids walking around and looking like they fucking lost, okay? Okay, no, no, no structure, no direction, no help on nothing. You understand? Not even helping to say, hey, when you at home, you can look this way. But when we go outside this door, y'all need to look like this. Y'all need to look the way I'm looking. But at the end of the day, it's not their fault, y'all. It's not their fault because they're not responsible for themselves. This grown-ass adult who is responsible for all these kids that she chose to have. But she get on here and say how... What she do for the kids and she's stuck in the house with these kids 24 fucking 7. And then that's where I say it's small things like that that speaks volume, okay? You chose to have them. Nobody forced you. That's what you wanted to do. You understand? So if you stuck at home with them 24-7, oh fucking well, you make the best of it, okay? But on the other hand, she can't. Because her fucking heart ain't right. Her heart ain't right for them, from the things that she been through. Her heart ain't right from how her grandmother raised her. Her heart ain't right, period. Okay? Then I also go back from watching the video when uh, Kaya was little and how she was combing Kaya's hair. Mental, mental physical, emotional, okay? Verbal abuse. That's all we seeing and receiving and getting here, okay? And that's what the kids are going through. And then that's where I say at the end of the day, ooh, my bad, y'all. Uh, you don't see where these kids are just happy, okay? They got to stay in the house 24-7, okay? Hot. Mama know, mama know they hot, okay? One minute mama cool, the next minute she going off on them, okay? Treat them any type of way. Then I also want to talk about the 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 other boy that needs speech therapy. He needs speech therapy so bad. You understand? So bad that at the end of the day, even if he receiving in school, it's not going to fix everything because he need outside of that. He need more than that. But instead of me being at home working with him or getting the things that he need because they do receive Medicaid. I concur fucking less. It's all about me. Make sure my hair is on point. Make sure my TV is up. Make sure I got a new mattress. Make sure this. Make sure mama is good. But I don't care about these kids and their fucking well-being. I don't care, okay? I find that as a, a full problem, y'all. I just don't get it. I just don't get the food that she fixed, cooked them. I don't get how she go in the store and she spend her food stamps, but she not cooking the good food for the kids. I don't get it. I don't get that she continue to go to the store and buy sugar for these kids, trying to make them happy, trying to do all these things with the sugar. And you know, they teeth is fucked up. I don't get it. It's like she want to make the problem more worse than what it is, but get on here and say, oh, I love my babies. Okay. I'm not understanding it, and I'm trying to understand it, but I just don't. And now you're getting so comfortable with social media, now you want to come over here and speak the real and raw or talk to your kids crazy. At the end of the day, as I said in my other video, there's no way that I will put that out here for entertainment. You understand? I don't want to hear, I don't want nobody to see or, or hear me talking to my kids at crazy. That's what I would say. Why? Why you find that entertaining? It's like you should have had enough, okay? All the shit that these kids have been through, what you done been through with having your kids taken away by being on social media, but you come back on a different platform with the same shit that you left the other platform with. Don't get it. Then that's where I say at the end of the day, you need to seek some fucking help for yourself and your mental because somewhere in there, your mental is truly fucked up, truly fucked up. Then that's where I talked about also in my last video, how do you leave these kids alone with your son when you, when you know that your son is out of your house for a reason? And then that's where I would say you feel that 
uh, the things that CPS don't know won't catch up with you, it will. Sooner or later, it will. And then that's where I say it, it, it wouldn't be surprising because, see, you're so used to them being in your life. You're so used to them taking your kids away. I mean, what you do is the norm for you, okay? Putting your kids in harm's way is normal for you, okay? Allowing things to happen to them is normal for you. You looking over them and care less about their well-being and the things that they need is normal for you. It should take nobody on social media to point out the things that you should already know as being a mother, what you need to do for your kids. It's not that you don't know. It's just the fact that you don't give a fuck, okay? So I feel like at the end of the day, nobody has to step in and give you that type of advice because you should already know. And then that's where I say where you should already know is because this ain't your first go round and this ain't your second or third or fourth or fifth go round. You should know how it go, okay? But then that's where so many people are seeing how careless you is and how you just don't care to why they want to step in and say, well, if I give her advice, will she fucking take it? If she ain't took nobody advice so far, she's not worried about taking nobody advice. She's not worried about giving difference. So many people done told her about how to discipline her kids, what she can do and this and that. She's not trying to do it. Okay, you continue to yell and scream. That's not making a difference. It's not changing anything. Changing the situation is pulling them out of being just bored all fucking day. Pulling them out the house and not so not just pulling them out the house, but engaging with them, doing certain things with them besides you being in your room and want to eat in front of the camera. Why not do things with your kids? You understand? But then again, that's where I say it's not about none of that. We get so confused at what we fucking looking at because we think she give a fucking in, in true reality. She don't. Okay. She don't. And it explains why the kids don't have AC. It explains why the beds took so long for her to put them together. It explains why the boys room looked the way it looked. It explains how she cooked for them. She don't give a fuck. Okay. And it's all, it all depends on how the kids act, what they do, of what they receive as a reward. And then when I say as a reward, we're talking about food and snacks. When have, when do you use food as a fucking reward? Okay. You receive food stamps for these kids. At the end of the day, if the kids wasn't involved, you wouldn't get half of the shit that you are getting now. So then you act like when it comes to them and the, and the things that they they want, they have to mop the floor, clean the floor, take the trash out. You want ice cream? Well, y'all better clean this. That's, that's, you need classes. You need help. I mean, this situation is so sad and you put out video after video like you give it good ass content. You have so many people that's going over there and subscribing because they want to see this mess. Okay. Or they want to see what's really going on. But you have so many people that turn their face because they can't even sit down and watch this shit to see kids walking around looking the way that they look and their mother feel like it's okay to come on here and worry about my hair and what my wardrobe look like and my slides match my shirt but then that's why I say but what your kids looking like though okay if you can't say the same about your fucking kids I don't want to hear shit you gotta say though okay I be calling her selfish and that's just what it is she's a mother that's all about self but somehow she had all these kids not because I want them and take care of them and this is what I really want, but I had them because this man was her and I thought the more babies I have, he wouldn't go nowhere or I would become the wife, but it didn't end that way. It just ended up with you with all the fucking kids and he doing Lord knows what with who and marrying who. Okay, and now the kids is in the middle and they have to suffer because then that's where I would say on the father's behalf, it ain't like he's stepping in and intervening and trying to pull his kids out this struggling situation because then that's where I would have to downfall and then say you a deadbeat as well because I know you watching her videos. I know you see your kids and what they look like when they with their mama and when she take them out. You see that shit. You know the environment that they are in and they don't have beds and they sleeping on the floor and look at their clothes 
clothes and what they eating every day. You know that shit. But being a father, if you are okay with that shit, you just as bad and fucking off as she is, okay? That's what I would want to say. Nobody is giving a fuck, girl. Nobody. Okay? Because if you was truly giving a fuck, you would put your foot down and try to do different. Try to do different and bring different to them. Just saying. There's no way that these kids should be walking around with big shirts stretched out. There's no way that these kids should be walking around with the same clothes that they done wore three days ago knowing that these kids didn't fucking shower. There's no way. Okay, so then when you say, well, they got a daddy over there, it don't fucking seem like it. Because if, 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 if it was truly what it was and what he given, he would give fucking different. But he about as dead as a motherfucking deadbeat as her ass, okay? Two sorry motherfuckers together, okay? And that's just what I call it, okay? The situation is crazy. Baby always out. Baby ain't never got nothing on her feet. I could have sworn that the the mama, the the godmother, whoever the lady is, gave her some 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 sandals or whatever to put on her feet. She ain't got time. She don't give a fuck, okay? She don't care what them kids look like, what they feet. She don't care, Long as I got my slides on and they furring and my hair is together and I'm gelling down my edges with edge control and gel and I'm using a fucking sure curtain on my forehead to cover that shit up. I don't care about them kids and what they look like. Long as I fix them a fucking hot meal that I would call fucking slop at the end of the day. That's all that matters and they spoil and mama knows best and I give them the world. In reality, you don't give them shit. Okay? It's all playing in your head. The fucking illusions. All this shit is unreal. Okay? Just like your book. And then that's where I would say, how? Where? It makes no sense. Are you making this shit up or is it real? You go get your mental checked out for real. If 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 not for yourself and your well-being, okay, but for your kids, okay? At least you can do that. Heal your fucking self because with what you're giving and going through, them kids gonna always lose at the end and not have at the end because mama don't give a shit. Mama only give a shit about herself and bros and bitches like that I can care less about and I can call you out every time I fucking think about it. And can't nobody change my mind on that. That's just what it is. Kids walking around like shit. <laughs> like they don't even belong to her. Like they just and you take them to the dentist appointment like that. You understand? You don't have, you you at home all day, 24 hours a day, like you say. And you can't you can't get them a good outfit together. You can't comb their hair and gel their edges and do all the shit that you are doing in front of the camera for them. Okay? They come first. You have to understand when you lay down and start having all them. Fuck with you and what you got going. It's about them. Somewhere in there, y'all fucking forgot that. It ain't that you forgot. You just don't give a fuck. Anyways, y'all, don't forget to drop y'all comments down below. Tell me what y'all think about this whole sitcho. Just everything, okay? And then she try to get on here and speak like, oh, the dad is good. The dad is this. The dad. The dad ain't about shit. Period. Okay, half of the time he don't, he ain't even coming to get the kids. He ain't giving you a break. He ain't trying to pull them out this situation. He ain't trying to allow them to have better or be in a better environment. He know what they eating. He know what they going through. He know what their house is like, and he okay with it. Okay, two shit bags together. Anyways, y'all, if y'all like this video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I ask that you do do, okay? Do, 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 do subscribe. But y'all already know that's only if you want to, okay? But do drop y'all comments down below. And I will see y'all on the next reaction video.